Hey guys, this is EBP Man here, and today we're taking a look at the TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi LED Bulb. And this is the third part of our Smart Home series of products. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now we just uh, completed a video on smart home technology where we did a general overview covering not only uh, this product but several others. So this video is a continuation of that video but this is a detailed setup of the bulb process, how you register it and how you make it work. Now make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can get updated when a new video like this comes out or any other ones that are on the channel as we're creating videos um, every week and multiple times a week you'll see a video coming from us. So. Focusing on smart technology and home automation. That's the theme of this next uh, video in the series. And today we're looking at smart bulbs. So this is a smart bulb brought to us by TP-Link that not only is going to be able to lighten your home, but it's also going to give you various color options to set the mood and just change things up. Now, even though there's a whole lot of tech in these bulbs, uh, this is an energy efficient bulb. Uh, it is an LED bulb, which is going to be significantly less expensive than a standard bulb. And you can see what the annual cost per year is, $1.57 to uh, run this bulb. Um, and it's going to give you a brightness of 1,000 lumens. That's pretty bright. But notice that it is the equivalent of a 80 watt solution. Now, the neat thing about this bulb and the smart bulb technology that we've been reviewing is that there's no hub needed. So you don't have to buy anything extra. They're Wi-Fi based. It makes it really easy to work. And um, I already did the first video. So if you haven't caught that first video on the smart plug, watch that because this next video, we're not going to go into a lot of detail uh, like we did with the app on that one. This is going to be really streamlined because you already saw that. So we're going to go really quick. But this uh, doesn't require a hub. All it requires is software and an internet connection in your home. And it's going to work with your Google Assistant and also with um, Amazon Alexa. So if you're purchasing a home, a Google Home or a Google Mini, you can use this. Now, the color range, as you can see, is pretty broad, as we can see right here. Let's bring it over here on the side so you can see uh, some of more of the factual information. So you have the ability to use standard colors or even... Uh, I would say have a wide variety of colors within the color spectrum or the gamut that you see based on the app or in this case based on the colors that you call out with your voice. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and see what this bulb is all about and then we'll set it up. Now opening up the box uh, what you'll find is your bulb and a small instruction card and really every, this is really simple to install. Now this is a flood lamp model. TP-Link does have and I've included in the common area the standard bulbs as well. So they have non-color based, they have color based and then they have flood lamp based. So this is the flood lamp model but if you're curious about how it would work in comparison to the one that's non-flood lamp based, you know just a normal round one, they're pretty much the same. They have the same capabilities. So you'll notice it looks like a standard bulb, feels like a standard bulb, and actually works like a standard bulb with the exception of having all that smart technology. So to get this to work we actually have to plug it in. So let me bring in a, a lamp outlet connector so we can get it going so you can see how it works. All right, so the very first thing you need to do is plug in your bulb. Um, this is how you're going to set things up. And once you turn it on for the very first time, we're going to go ahead and power it up uh, right here. Let me just get the plug in. Uh, once you power this up, it's going to turn on and it will either flash or just turn on as you can see it right here. So now that it's powered, what we're going to do is go to the app to find it. Notice the blinking that it's doing? That's indicating that it's in pairing mode. So it started up first, which you saw that bright uh, white that came up, and then the blinking is saying that, okay, I'm ready for setup. Let me show you what it takes to set it up. Now to set up the bulb, you're going to have to go through the same process you went through in setting up the switch. So I have my app, I've already registered, and all I'm going to do is hit plus. I'm going to indicate what I have. Remember I said that there was a standard bulb as well and see we're looking at the floodlight. So that's the LB200. So I'm going to choose that and then I'm going to go ahead next. Um, we did see the flashing earlier that you saw so I'm going to hit next and what I'm doing is searching for this bulb. Once it finds it we're just going to name it and then we should be uh, pretty much set up. Now once the app it finds the bulb you name the bulb which I already did and then you just choose the the symbol for it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is configure it with my Wi-Fi. Now once it's configured, uh, you, what you're going to see is the bulb is going to cycle. It's going to go through a couple of colors, um, just cycling through, just indicating that it's uh, connected. I'm going to go through a firmware update just because there's one available and then we'll see how everything works. 
All right, so now the bulb has been recognized, and I'm actually naming it the same as some of the other bulbs I have in the basement because they're all going to be in the same area, and I want to control them uh, with one name. Uh, a couple things that you'll notice on the app, you do see that there is a percentage. So when I go into the bulb, you can adjust the brightness level. You can see that right here, and you can actually speak this out also when you're using your either your Alexa or your uh, Google Home app or or you know Google Home or Google Mini device. So you'll notice here I can control that. I can adjust the colors, so I can just go over, and you'll notice how the colors changing, right? As I'm doing that, and then you could go uh, to real specific presets. So you can go red if you'd like, uh, and let's bring that down so you can see that a little bit better. There it is. So you can see the red. You can see that you can go magenta if that's something that you wanted to do, or you could go yellow. Literally, you have the full color spectrum. You also have the ability to look at with this specific bulb, you're also able to track usage. So this is going to tell you consumption. It's going to tell you everything about the bulb. And then also you can have scheduling capabilities to turn things on and turn these off on schedule. I really like it because if you place this in a specific part of your house, you literally don't have to get up to turn things off. You can use your phone or you can use your voice. Now, if you want to be able to control your bulb using uh, your dot, or in this case, uh, your mini, which we're going to go through, and your Google Home, you have to go through the app. So you're going to have to go through your Alexa app, or you're going to have to go through your Google app. Uh, in this case, um, I already have two products that I've already paired. What I'm going to do is add one more. So I'm going to choose Plus. And because I've already um, used uh, TP-Link uh, Casa, I'm going to choose it. And then I'm going to check for new devices. Now, once you've authenticated uh, your, you put your TP-Link information, your account information, you're going to just choose the bulb or the device, and then you're going to come to the screen. And you'll notice that within uh, Google Home, all you do is indicate the name of the product, you know, your nickname, um, and then also the room that it's in. So, you know, here I have my nickname is Basement, and then also the location is Basement. So that way I can use my voice to control the lights. Now let me show you what the convenience is now. Uh, my lights are named the same and they're also in the same location. And you'll notice that my light is red. So what I'm going to do is, and you can use this using your um, Google Mini, your Google Home, or Alexa. Um, I'm going to be using the phone because it's just easier. And also I'm not going to confuse all those devices going off if you hear me use those commands. So I'm going to press the mic and then just, uh, just say the command for the color change. Change the basement light to blue. And you remember, I have two lights, so both of them are changing. Change the basement light to orange. Sure, changing two lights to orange. Change the basement light to soft white. Okay, changing two lights to soft white. Okay, here's the other thing you can do. Raise the brightness to the basement lights. So you see a lot of flexibility. You notice it's very fast. Uh, and then you can just turn it off by just saying this. Turn off the basement lights. Sure, turning two lights off. That's all there is to it. So that concludes our review of the TP-Link LB230. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can help our channel grow. And once again, get notified if there's a new product like this coming out. I have a new video coming out shortly, and it's going to cover uh, SmartCam. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe so you can get notified. And thanks for watching.